Toledo with him. Oh, yeah, uh, a couple good... Excuse me. Excuse me. Catching me at the wrong time here, Steve. I'm coming down with it. And, uh, yeah, Ohio is in the house here tonight for a couple different boys. A couple good old boys coming from Ohio, including number two contender, Nick Senegal, in the main event tonight. Well, Aaron Bachetta using, uh, using some strikes to set up an attempted shot and then right into a nice body clinch. He's done a good job of avoiding a guillotine attempt and now looking to get some hips and some leg trips involved. But the whole time he's eating some leather. Not much of it having a, an effect, but it only takes one to slip through. And doing a good job of clearing that mess out of there. Sean Sweeney, he's got to be careful now, though. Oh, yeah. Sweeney in the black and red trunks, throwing some big hands. He's in his corner. He should be comfortable. Well, he's got to be careful because he's going to go for a ride. Aaron Bluchetta doing a good job of, of keeping active in that clinch. And now looking for a sort of a modified arm triangle. This could be a lot of trouble if he doesn't clear that arm out of there. Looking to step through and take an outside leg trip, drop it to the ground. Sweeney avoiding that. Here we go. You hear his corner calling for uppercuts. Sweeney's got to catch one. He's got to break free from that. Oh, and a toe stop. Something that you don't get the chance to see that often that is allowed. Well, the reason you don't see it is it, it forces your hips out of alignment, and Sean Sweeney able to use that to clear out of there. I mean, it compromises your position. There's one guy in MMA that I've seen do it right, and that's Chris Lieben. He'll tear you up with those. I couldn't imagine feeling that the next day. Now, the problem with Chris Lieben is uh, as, as hard as, as he hits. Oh, here's some good stomps now. A lot of small bones in the foot. That could get ugly. See, now when he's got the posture broken, nah, you know, I think that was off the thigh. Yeah, I didn't see Sweeney get hit below the belt. Um, now, granted, you know, we have a selected angle here. However, um, I think Sweeney needs the time. I think he needs the time. We're taking a look over here. My man Buschetta is coming out looking clean, mean on the scene. Well, Danny McIntyre right on top of the action. And if he says it came up the middle, then I'm going to I'm gonna default to him because he is a consummate professional and he knows what he's looking at. And I think you're absolutely right, though. Sean Sweeney needing this breather. He's got up to five minutes. The challenge with taking that much time is you start to clear out all of the adrenaline and everything else, and uh, it gets real tough to get going again sometimes. No question. Sweeney looks like he's ready to go back to action. Touch of gloves. Bushuda coming in with an unorthodox stance and a high fly and right knee. Coming in with another kick. Well, he's got to be careful with that because that's just a lack of respect. Slips out, yeah, it is. And slips on the backhand here. This gives Sweeney a time to capitalize. Well, Sweeney's got a little bit of an advantage here. He's got to be careful he doesn't get mounted. He let his legs get sloppy. But he could have turned that right into a, what's called a 100%, which turns into a neck crank, shoulder crank. Really a brutal position. And... I don't think he knew what he was looking at as he was rolling through. And right back to the foot stops is Aaron Bluchetta. Yeah, Bluchetta going in for those foot stops. And, oh, with a nice little takedown there. This time working that outside leg trip. And right into a deep rear naked choke. He's across the chin, but nonetheless getting the tap. I got to tell you, I didn't see that Sweeney was in any trouble at that point. That choke was across the chin. His eyes were focused. Thank you. 
yourself, guys. It's a thrill. It's a thrill. Thanks, guys. Yeah. One more time for your win.